They're going to start and... Yeah, he's completely aloof. Yeah. Uh, just going to let him be. And we're going to keep training through this because I'd like to get out just after 8 because i got to pack all this stuff up and be somewhere tomorrow. Yep. So... Not the most exciting thing, but it is what it is. So we got just this set of bracket, Neko Santiomi, and into Baby Slayer, into Moo Moo. Which that's probably going to run as quickly as possible and then go back up to. Do I need to do winner's finals first and then win a loser's semis? Pretty sure, yeah, I think I have to. So once Bagel Slayer and the winner of this current match ends, go straight to winner's finals. That means you're back on. I intentionally do it because it gets like super loud when it's like just me and it just it echoes in here if it's at a hundred. Alright, here we go. It's Yomi Mekos, Daisy Lucas. A little dancing around. Antiomi's just trying to get close to uh, Mechos, but Mechos is just dancing around him too. Neutral's just gonna be nothing but footsies right now. Mechos for first blood, 37%. You just get so much mileage off of like falling fair and falling snake. It's ice. insane, it's just because of his airspeed. If he didn't have that, he wouldn't really have much of a good neutral. Absolutely, and they, they made it very, very safe, which is uh, it's good for him, but it's not fun for everyone else. Oh, yeah, that. absolutely. Like 70 to 98, this is a very, uh, fairly even game. Yeah. But with uh, Antiomi off stage, especially with projectiles, this might be a complete edge guard. Oh, back on stage. Over there, yep, that's the He's wringing his neck, but not grabbing him in the end. That's, right. Uh, strange. I think I think just because he felt that he could catch him off guard in the air, I think he just felt confident with that. Absolutely. I think with Daisy, it's weird because when she's back on the ground, I mean, she goes for the short hop floats, then she's able to apply a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Although at the same time, I think Lucas is one of the few characters. Granted, I don't play either of these characters, so I can't like, confirm it or not. But I feel like Lucas, with PK Fire and Fair and uh, Rope Snake, he has so many options to actually contest the float at different heights as well. Oh, absolutely. To the point where it kind of nullifies a lot of Daisy's pressure in neutral. Daisy is like so scary out of that float because of the options she has. Right. But like with Lucas, if he's able to swat her away as easily as he is, it makes it very, very hard for Daisy to actually get in and do the things she wants to do against him. No, um, that's true because it seems uh, Lucas as a character is like an anti-air archetype with those tools that are necessary to zone out people and catch them on jump to bring them back down. Another back question that I think uh, Antium is running into right now, how does Daisy chase down Lucas? Uh, Lucas is faster. Um, I guess it plays like any low tier character where you have to play patient and just wait for the character to approach you mm -hmm. and then play defensively and punish based on those options. Which isn't a bad thing, but it is very tedious, especially with a character like Daisy where you have to kind of like sit and wait and then fall into your uh, punishes. Ooh. See, just like that. Just kind of have to like wait for him to commit to some move and then just go for that sort of oh action like that. All right, well, still pretty even, even with 24% on the map for the last time. Not necessarily showing me how he can chase down Lucas, but he's definitely showing me how he can punish a Lucas. Oh, absolutely. Sure. There's an audio mixer in front of our, my screen right now. So you're just like watching your uh, watching your lip movement. 
No, I was watching you change like the Aver Media, and oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. I can't see the game. <laughs> oh my bad. You're good. Sorry. Oh, here we go. This is fair. Is so good. <laughs> There's just no other words it's for a, that move. It's just a solid move with a great inbox. And the fact that it kills at this percent, at 133, yeah. That's it. That's all he needed. It's so strong. I'm not sure if this is going to be an uphill battle for them or, not, or for Antiami or not. Because he might be able to just learn everything from this. It's loser's quarters. No, it's not even that. It's, yeah, it's the round before quarters. Oh, yeah, loser's round, what, six? Yeah. Yeah, six. Yeah, this is for, like, what is that, ninth? Yeah, for ninth. Would you say today's been stacked? Oh, uh, looking at bracket, it's, uh, it's more stacked than normal. You know, we have the typical, we have the regular, we have Mechos. But at the same time, we had Mr. Moomoo, who doesn't always make it out. We had Lucky Win, we had Antiami. Um, Bagel Slayer coming out was, uh... A real surprise. I think that was a spur of the moment too, because I think he was in the area. And then up, we still have Jigs is in bracket. I'm in bracket. So it's uh, it was for Charlotte, it was a surprisingly big tournament, uh, skill-wise, especially with 44 people compared to like 50 or 60. Mm -hmm. All right, the counter to Chalos. Is this actually going to work out in CJ's favor? I don't know. I feel like it gives him more space to play around Lucas. To escape, yeah. And just try to like bait him out. But at the same time, on edge, Lucas can still just kill with throws or forward air. So we just have to see. There's also more open air space, which allows Daisy to really chase Lucas down more. Right. As opposed to on Smash 4, that moving platform paired with something like forward air or some other really good landing option was able to save Mechos a lot. Right. I see. He's just trying to, like, poke him out from that side and just either get him off this off stage or get him close to him. Oh, that really tag. Good tag. <laughs> oh, that was so smart. smart. That's still going to save him. Over to him so he oh. would be fine. That was. Ooh. And that was Smash Free? Any Ooh. other stage that would have killed. Yeah. Well, maybe not Town, actually. I think that was a higher ceiling. Yeah, but, Town is the highest ceiling in the game in terms of the legal stages. But that brings in a, a question. Uh, throw. Oh, up throw. throw. Ooh, what a mix up. But this stage, the Blast, blast Zones are very, very big. So it begs the question, does he think he's going to be able to kill more consistently versus not dying as consistently to Lucas? Well, fair. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to do it. Um, uh, it might be more so uh, killing power, if anything. But in terms of Lucas, Lucas is probably going to have more survivability on the stage just because it's so wide. Absolutely. He also, because of like the distance from the blast zone to the stage, he has a lot more room to mix up his recovery to try and avoid being hit by uh, Daisy as she's coming out to edge guard. But is Daisy more pro, like, is she more safe on edge guard in this stage? Because, I mean, Lucas has two recovery options. He gets under two and uh, Snake, the ropey. But, I mean, just kind of like going to have to leave himself out in the open in most instances on edge guard. Because if PK Thunder 2 connects, then he's having to fight that. And you really can't, uh, you can't clash with that. That's very true. And actually, with the distance, if he's forced out to do a very, very low PK Thunder, very he far can go away, for, uh, he toad. can go for Toad. Yeah. I know it's something that Antiyami doesn't do quite often, even But he really sets. should be more encouraged to do so, especially with this sort of disadvantage Absolutely. state. Absolutely. Yeah, here he goes for Ropey. Who's that close? But even, uh, even against Ridley, where like if you counter up Ridley's upbeat at like 40%, he just dies, he can't tech it or anything. Right. He still doesn't go for the counters off stage a lot. I don't know if he just doesn't trust it, or if he's... I, don't, I want to believe he's aware of the option because he's a, he's a good enough player to where he should know. I would think he knows because if he's playing consistently with Lucky Win, who's a sword character, you can do that with you can do that with uh, palms up B. Really good spacing around the ledge from uh, Antiomi right there. Oh yeah, just any counter in general will get rid of palms up B, and Toad is a perfect counter for that. Absolutely, especially the multi hit. Oh yeah. Now is the only difference between Peach and Daisy the Toad? 
Like, is it the toad is different? Is it? I remember that for a while, for a while the only difference was the turnips based on like map background, and then they fixed that. So I didn't know what. I'm the... pretty sure they'll be exactly the same now, besides animations. Oh yeah, okay. and then her, uh, I believe heart box is another thing too. Yeah, that's uh, from the idle animation. Yeah. Which in most cases you're not going to detect that just because if you're a Peach Daisy player, you're you're really uh, focused on movement because you're trying to like bait your opponent in terms of like how they're going to mess up in neutral. Yeah, there's not often in a game I uh, sit still enough to the point where I can start my idle animation with my hands holding forward if I'm a Daisy player. Yeah. It looks like uh, Antiomi has the percentage lead, but does that mean he has advantage in this neutral? He's sort of being just retreating back as Mecha's approaches in the air and, and that, waiting this, for these moments where he can run in. Right, and this is what he needs to do because he's able to punish accordingly because even with a little bit of end lag, Mecha's is still committing to these moves. He's got him an edge guard. And Mecha's coming in slowly, regaining the ground. Oh, these parries, he's oh my god! Very, very good job of this is, his PK fires. This is amazing! And then he's putting himself very carefully in a position where he is able to run forward with a dash attack and punish these PK fires, which he's doing very carefully after these small dashes forward. Which is a very big thing when it comes to beating Lucas, is being able to punish PK fire. Oh, surprised that down smash doesn't kill. I know it's like a heavy like damage output, especially how it was in melee, but still. Okay. Back row. Ah, that's close. So hang it on. Ah, he wasn't in. He wasn't in close enough just on time to uh, punish that. Just kind of having to work back inside. Oh. Ah, that's the punish. Oh wow, Neko's that's doing a, just a great job of keeping him trapped in the corner. And we saw Antiyami running back a lot, trying to run away from these rope snakes and these PK fires to the point where it sort of became, he was just cornering himself at the end right there. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean that's how it rolls around here, so good stuff to, uh, good stuff to Mecco's. Absolutely. Showing him how uh, competent he is.